Hi, my name's Jen. Welcome to my channel, All of My Plants. In today's video, you are going to see me fight with a moss pole, putting a pothos on there, or well, it's an epipremnum pinnatum variegated, and I'm going to plant some Hoya seeds. So let's go watch that, and then I'll be back. Okay, so what I've got here is Hoya seeds. Let's see if I can show them to you. I'll put in a picture, too, of what they look like when they popped out of the pod. These are Papa Shawnee They're like really staticky, really fluffy. They're hard to put down once you pick them up. Um, but aren't they cute? They're little bitty things and they're covered in white floof. Um, it kind of reminds me of dandelion seeds, you know, make a wish. Except for the Hoya does it itself and just poofs them all over the place. But anyway, so we're going to plant some in these little doodads, death cups. Um, it's fine for seedlings, but I tend to leave things too long, so that's why they're death cups. But uh, I just poked some holes in the bottom, and I do have lids for them. And I poked holes in them as well. I don't know if you can tell because they're clear. But so some of them are going to go in there. I don't know how many's in here. I'm not going to count either. And then I have a takeout container. Handy dandy. You can see I've poked some holes in there. And likewise with the lid. Um, I'm just going to cover the bottom with soil. Actually, I'm going to put it fairly full of soil. But these here, I'll put maybe an inch or so of soil on the bottom. Inch, inch and a half, something like that. And the soil is right there. It's the same soil I use for everything. Um, but that's what I'm going to do. And I'll get you a little bit closer so you can see what I'm doing after I put soil in these. Okay, I have my soil. This one here. Got my little containers. <clears throat> Got my seeds. And because they are so staticky, I have some, just some long tweezers. Um, just so I can kind of maybe separate them. I actually am going to put a couple in each cup. Look, this is a floof. Oh, let's focus. There we go. With a seed attached. And they stick to you so bad when you pick them up. And everything else in the room when they pop. But yeah, I'm just tucking them. I'm not really burying them. Just kind of like getting them on the surface of the soil. Can we see that? It's right there. It's just a little floof sitting on top of the soil, basically. So I'm doing that. I think I'm going to do three in this cup. These, uh, I think these seed pods appeared in December. I'm not 100% sure. Let's see, that's three of them in there. Let's do four in there because there's plenty of room in there for now. If we have to thin them later or some of them might not make it. We've got good odds, right? All right, so it looks like just floof. You can't even see the seeds because I barely tucked them to the surface of the soil. Barely covering. Um, I've never done Hoya seeds before, so I'm not a pro here. Um, I'm just assuming based on the way that the seed is that it's going to be a barely cover or surface seed. So that's what we're doing. I'm doing the same thing with this cup here. I'm just going to basically make sure that the seed is making contact with the soil. That's it. I'm not poking it in. I'm not covering it over. Just making contact with the soil. And they're so tiny. They're so cute, little floofs. Um, it looked like bird floof. I'll put in a picture of the seed pot if I didn't already. Um, or maybe I'll do it again. <laughs> but <clears throat> it was so weird. Um, I thought they were done because they didn't, it, they took forever to open. Um, so I was like, oh, okay, well, I guess they're not viable and they'll, you know, dry off. And uh, after my last video, maybe, I went to, you know, water the, the Hoya shelf there again and they had popped. So now we have Hoya seeds. Hopefully I don't mistake the white floof for like mold or mildew, you know, sometimes you get like a hairy mold or something that grows on things, especially when they're covered. I'm going to do this one now. And I'm just going to poke them in all over the place. <clears throat> but anyway, hopefully I don't mistake it for that and think, oh, it's growing, you know, stuff and the seeds aren't going to do anything. I don't know how many days they'll take, but we'll follow up on that. Um, 
because I think at least some of them will. They're pretty fresh. It's only been, you know, a couple days at most. This fluff has nothing attached. Like so much fluff. It's like cat hair. <laughs> it really is. It's like cat hair with a seat attached. So I'm just poking them in every so often giving them, I don't know, I guess this is maybe half inch, inch of space, depending on which way you measure from. I'm going to say closer to an inch, but, and I'm not going to keep this sop and wet, but I am going to keep it moist. You see, I've got this little lab wash bottle. That is what I'm going to moisten it with at first, um, at least until I see some action. And I don't know if you can tell, but I've got this, this tent here. The humidity is a little higher in there, so I'll probably put them in there. Or maybe I'll put them in the cabinet. I don't know. We'll see. Maybe I'll just put them on the shelf. Because <laughs> they are going to be, look at that, there's one stuck to there. Um, they are going to be kind of, they have a, a top that I'm putting on them, so. Is there an actual seed with that? Yeah, there is. Couldn't tell if it was just floof or floof with a seed. Yeah, I have no many, no idea how many there are. No many, no many idea. <clears throat> Let's say uh, I said I wasn't going to count three, uh, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and we're still going. 25, 26, 27, wait, oh my gosh, there's so many, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, oh, no, get in there, 33, stay, 34, so I'm going to say maybe 40, no, it might be more than that, oh gosh, come on, 35, 36, they're so floofy, 37, 38, 39, oh yeah, 40, 41, let me just put some back in here, 42, 43, 44, 45, just make contact with this up please, 40, it's like 46, and that was two seed pods, and I don't know if I got all, every seed from the seed pods, that was just what I, what I could find, <laughs> for sure. <clears throat> There is fluff flying all around the room now. But anyway, so I'm just gonna take this doodad here and moisten them in. Oh, that one's gonna leak. There we go. Moisten them in. This one's gonna leak. Uh, there we go. Moisten it in. And this one, moisten it in. I'm not trying to really saturate them they're going to a wetter place to live anyway. Or they're gonna have lids, so you know, to keep the moisture in, basically. Um, how am I gonna water this one in without leaking? Hmm, let me find something. Okay, I found a slightly gross drip tray. Slightly gross, looks like I propagated something in it before. No, that's not gonna work. We can't have you sitting all cockeyed it. There we go. Same thing. Just like moistening them in. I don't know how this is going to go, but y'all are going on this journey with me. We'll check in on these little Hoya seeds. Um, I'll probably look at them 9,000 times a day because, I mean, isn't that what you do like when you start any seeds? I do. Garden seeds. It doesn't matter. I'm looking at them things at least three times a day. I don't really want to say nine times a day, but definitely three times a day. I'm like, are you growing? What are you doing? What are you waiting for? You have all the things you need. Do a sprout. 
All right, so I'm gonna let that soak through. I'm gonna let them dry down a bit. And then I'm gonna come back, cover them up, and put them somewhere. I'll show you where because I don't even know yet. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take these plants and put them in this thing here. Yeah, so if you saw Heart Shaped Leaves video, um, you know, our plant madam, Rachel, if you saw her, her video, it was fairly recent. I think she took us plant shopping in Lowe's. But anyway, um, her local Lowe's had these and I was like, yeah, I need that in my life. So I went and got it. <laughs> and I have like struggle bus plants in here. Uh, I have some propagations in here. Just plants that are full of rage in general. But anyway, point being, um, because the humidity, the light, I figure those things might help these plants. I don't know. We're, we're trying things. So I am going to put the, the uh, Hoya seeds that we just started. Hoya Papashanii. Papashanii. Sean. Sean. Shawnee eye, Shawnee eye. Those. <laughs> We're going to put those in there um, wherever I can fit them. I'm not sure where that's going to be, but that's what we're doing. That's the goal. So um, I'm just going to make sure they're not going to leak. Ooh, that looks really wet. I see puddles of water even though I poked holes. Oh, that hole's leaking. Okay, maybe I'll tip it up that way for a minute. Let's see about these little dudes. That's one. Oh, it does have water coming out of it still. So. Well, I didn't think I put that much water in there. Apparently I did, huh? Look how wet. Can you see? I don't know if we're focusing, but yeah, it's dripping. And like I said, it's been, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and, oh my gosh, water's still leaking. Pop the lid on and hope we don't regret this. I guess we'll check them tomorrow and if they still look really wet. These lids don't fit. <laughs> Did I get the wrong lids? What else would they fit? I don't know. I guess we'll loosely cover them. Gosh, they are leaking. Let me open this thing up. I'll put you there to continue to leak. Woo. Okay. the setup of this thing but me and my girlfriend were just kind of hanging out while I set it up and it's it was very easy very self-explanatory I did it by myself and it didn't take me very long I'm gonna say it took me I don't know half hour 45 minutes it didn't take me too long um, and the floor in this room is really really uneven uh, to explain what I mean, the bottom of it is right up against the wall, and then the top sits off the wall by about five and a half inches. So very uneven, um, but it's, you know, it's standing of its own accord. I have lights hung in there. Um, I, oh, you can't see it. <laughs> right here. Can you see it now? No, maybe? Ooh, back bend. They're clamp lights, so they're in those metal clamp light type fixtures and um, it looks like it might be a fire hazard but I swear to you they don't get hot they're LED and you know I can touch them they're they're cool to the touch so oh, that's awesome because I don't want to burn my house down it's old it has enough problems without me setting it on fire <clears throat> All right, so I'm just kind of trying to tap out the extra water because it's like really laying in these little cups even though I poked. <gasps> Did a seed go through the bottom? Look, do you see the dangly thing? That's a seed. How did that get there? Did I miss? Or did I just shake it right on out the bottom? I don't know. I'm going to poke it back in though. <laughs> when your best laid plans go awry. Okay. It's touching the top of the surface, so. Um, I kind of wish I had something to set them in so they don't leak all over everything else because I have lights in there that probably wouldn't love to be leaked on. Hmm. <laughs> the 
this is the thing you do when you're looking for something. This thing. I'll just set them in this. Will three fit in here? One, two, trois. Yes, they will. Okay. So I'm going to set these. We'll set these under higher light, right underneath this light back here. And then you see, I'll show you if you can't see <laughs> where I'm sticking them. I'll show you. Um, and where will I set the other ones? I'll set the other ones under slightly lower light on the second shelf, which is just a, that one will leak, but it's not over top of light, so. It's under a just regular LED, like closet light or whatever. I'll show you. <coughs> okay, so the three in the little cups I've just set there, which this is the light I was talking about. Sorry, I know it's bright, um, but those are there. And then the many, many I put in this uh, Chinese food container um, are there, and the, there is a light kind of under to the back side, like you can see the top of it there, but it runs the whole length of that shelf. Um, it's not a very strong light, but we'll see how it goes, you know? So, yeah, there we are. Hoya Papa Shani I, seeds planted. Yay! We'll check on them in a couple days and see what happens. Okay, so now what I have is this um, variegated Epipremnum pinnatum, which it's so pretty. Look at this leaf. That I just got not that long ago, and I said I was going to put it on a pole. So I'm going to bring you in a little bit closer. We're going to unpot it, check out the roots, which I can see some at the bottom, just not a lot. Um, I'm putting it in a six inch pot. I have one pole um, made that I'm going to stick it on. I, I waffled about this forever, and it's not because I like don't want to repot this plant or put this plant on a pole. It's more because I have one pole made and I'm so lazy it, that I don't want to make more poles. But I need to because I have several more plants that really need to go on moss poles. So um, I've got to get out of that laziness and actually do it. But for now, on the one I already have, something else came off of it. It wasn't doing well. Um, on the one I already have, I'm going to put this guy. So I've just got a bin here to catch the old soil. And I'll bring you in here so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Okay, get you. Okay, so I guess you can kind of see what's going on here. Um, <clears throat> this is such a cute plant, I haven't had it long. Where did I get this one? Virginia Beach. So I got it last month, actually. February, beginning of last month maybe? Middle of last month? It's been here maybe a month. Um, gosh, it's really in there too. Okay. I don't want to rip the roots off. There we go. Oh, so it's pretty well rooted. Can you see them? It's not bad. Sorry, the lighting's not great up here. There we go. I'm going to disrupt these thoroughly because I, w I don't want all of the vines on one side, so I am going to try to disrupt it quite a bit so that I can get them kind of growing in different places around the pole. They feel good, though. I hate to be that disruptive. I think it's going to be fine anything like my other epipremnum, it should be a vigorous grower. It should be. We'll see. Hopefully that's not famous last words. <clears throat> Isn't that weird how the roots always seem to be around the edge of the pot? For some plants and then other plants they're like it's like the middle these ones here they're all kind of towards where the edge of the pot was i mean there's some in the middle but i wonder why that is roots want to run to the edge and i think this is 
what, three different cuttings maybe? And hopefully I can get them separated from one another. We'll see, we'll see. You know, that's the goal anyway. Could be expectation versus reality, we'll see. <laughs> Because it's really rooted. I keep getting hung up on the edge of the bin. The foliage keeps getting caught. Man, it is densely rooted up in here. Pretty dense. And I really want to separate them and not tear up the roots. <laughs> hmm. We're making progress. Slow going, but it is going. <coughs> I've got a really wet, angry cat in here with me. <coughs> The one I call Pishak. <laughs> or Smalls or Lump or whatever I'm calling him that day. My daughter just gave him a bath, a flea bath. Um, which, not that he has any fleas, she's just paranoid. Can you see him? Yeah, he's pretty mad. He's drying slowly but surely. <clears throat> but yeah, anyway, we're over here playing with this plant still. <laughs> we just had to have a kitty intermission. Wow, okay. So... I'm trying to separate the leaves here to see where this plant is actually coming from and going to. So they are all grown from little cuttings, like you can see, maybe. They all have um, part of an existing or pre-existing plant. Um, and it looks like they have one root coming out of the node and it is spread into this and they're all so tangled together. I am really, really afraid to try to separate these now but I also still really, really want to. I can see this one. It's rooted to this. Oh, which this one feels like it has another root somewhere else. Yeah, it does. Shoot, man. Why is nothing ever easy? That's life, isn't it? That's life. Sorry, somebody knows I have my hands in dirt, so it's a great time to message me. <clears throat> oh, we are going to lose roots, man. There's just no way I'm separating them without losing roots. Hopefully we don't lose all the roots, though. It's the only thing I can say. I will try to maintain as much as I can. But yeah, I'm just ripping at this point. Oh, okay, I got that free. Dang, there's still more. Okay. <laughs> oh. I know I ripped some. Yeah, I broke that one. But we maintained some of it. Or, yeah, not maintained. But managed to not kill it all. <laughs> Just a portion of it, I'm sure. All right. Now what do I got? Three more to go? Yep, three more to go. I can't 
can't even tell where, oh, it's going to there, not from there, okay. This kind of reminds me out of trying to get, of trying to get gum out of a little kid's hair. If you've ever tried to do that, then that's kind of the, the feeling I'm having now. Like, just cut it, just cut it. Put ice on it, put peanut butter in there. Just cut it. <laughs> Oh. Okay, that was really unhealthy. Could you hear it ripping? Alright, so we destroyed a lot of roots even though I really didn't want to. It happens. It does happen. Especially when you're trying to separate plants. But it's going to be fine. Plants grow. And if it's not fine, then cool, we'll propagate. And that'll be fine. <laughs> sure. It's definitely got an odor. It's like dirt and something. The and something is probably all those roots that I just tore. I'm just trying to get any loose roots that I tore off. Um, so that they don't go into the pot with it and um, rot. You know, because they're not doing anything anymore. Alright, so we did end up with four. That all still have at least some root. Which is good, because they will need that for, you know, life-sustaining purposes. But yeah, so this is all the roots we lost. Can you see? I know my lighting's not good, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's uh, the destruction there. <coughs> um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pin them to the pole before I even put the pole or soil in there. Um, yeah, that's the method we're gonna go with. Where's the anti-tape stuff? There it is. I'm just using um, plant velcro. I'm gonna cut it thin because I just don't like to see a lot of it, you know, visible. Not that it's hurting anything, it doesn't matter. It's just my personal preference. I prefer to see more plant, less velcro or ties or whatever, that's all. <clears throat> Shoot, it is hot up here. I'm surprised this camera hasn't overheated yet. Could be famous last words. Maybe I should shut the hell up. <laughs> Don't say it out loud. <laughs> Don't put it out there in the universe. I'm going to cut that one too short. All right, we'll start with that and see how that goes. Um, I'm just going to like see where the pot sits on this pole, right about there. So I can mark it as like basically the soil, soil line. Can't see what I'm doing. I'm just putting this in here to mark where the soil is going to come up to on this pole. There we go. Because I don't want to put the plant lower than that, right? Okay. So the roots and bottom leaf should be in that area, huh? That neighborhood? Yeah. There we go. Okay. Oh my gosh, good job. They all stuck together. Mm -hmm. oh. I just go like one square of mesh and then attach it like that. I guess you could do it on the wire, but I feel like I've, I have more to hold on to if I like go through one whole square of mesh. Does that make sense? That's my, my method. <clears throat> and I do suppose this is going to look weird for a while, 
but I also suppose it'll sort itself out after a while. Or you know that's what we're hoping anyway. My head in the way? No, okay. Thought I was leaning like right over top of the camera. Or right into the camera with my big head. Okay. This one here hadn't actually put out a leaf in a while anyway. Can we see that? Like, they had propagated it. That's it, you know, it had a growth point there when I bought it. And so it's just grown, but no leaves. So it was running, running. The other ones all put out leaves though, just this particular vine decided it wanted to run instead. Which I mean, cool, but you know, I buy plants for leaves, not for vine. <laughs> Come on now, I don't want that extra tape sticking out. There we go. And maybe one more up here somewhere. Yeah, yeah. I like this plant though. I think it's pretty. Very pretty. Alright. So that's the first vine. Now can I get another one next to it without crushing the first? Let's see. That's pretty. It's so pretty. That layer, that leaf there with like the minty color on it. I think that's the prettiest thing. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's quit drooling over it and attach it. Give it a little bit of room from the first one. Not too much. All right. I'm going to take my bottom marker piece and, and get to it. Right there, maybe. And this pole is mostly dry that I'm working with, so you might be able to hear it, like, crunching. But I will water the whole thing in together when I'm done here. The pole and the soil, I'll just water it all at the same, same time. Kind of rolling in a direction I don't want it to. Maybe we'll put one more there to keep it from rolling. Yes, I think we shall. I think we shall. And that way it'll keep that newest um, node with its little aerial root. It'll keep that kind of from drying out maybe. <laughs> That's the hope here. I think I make this much harder than it needs to be, but it's because I don't want big pieces of tape that I do this to myself. It just means a lot of fidgeting with small things in small spaces. That's all. And that's fine. I'm, I'm a patient person. I will do that. Okay. Now, see if I can roll it that way and not crush anybody. I'm pretty sure the last one will have to be put on with it standing up. Um, just because I'll crush somebody. Okay. Velcro. Oh, there it is. Nope, that's right on top of a note if I do it there. How about there? Small things. All right. Voila, I got it, okay. Um, this one here is all gnarled and growing in weird directions.
There. Yeah, there. Okay, have I run out of Velcro? That was pre-existing Velcro. It's okay, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it's reusable. That one's got a little node right there. I think I'm gonna go right above it. Yeah, right above it. Okay, <clears throat> did I break anybody? Nope. Okay, so I'm gonna um, get this in the pot and then we'll put the last one on because we don't wanna crush it. Okay, um, I really should have stuffed some soil in the end of this first because it's really hard to get it. Yeah, let's, okay. I am a mess today. Sorry. I'm doing my bestest here. Okay. I'm just gonna put this under the whole deal here to try to collect some of the mess. And another one on the floor here. Look out, kitty. Look out, red angry kitty. He's still mad, shaking his feet. The last one. I wonder. No, there's just no way I'm gonna get that on there without damaging it, unless I put it in the pot first. All right. So, we're gonna try to get some chunky, chunky soil up in the end of this without making too much of a mess. My soil is down there, can you see it? Yeah, it's just down here in this bin. But I'm just gonna grab like a handful of it and try to jam it into the end of this pole. <laughs> Maybe a couple handfuls before we get to the point where some of it actually stays. Yeah, because that's one handful. And two. And two seems sufficient. Okay. I'm just trying to center the impression on the bottom. There we go. Beautiful. All right. Looks like some of these are a little bit higher than I wanted them to be. It's all right. We'll scooch them down if needs must. Yeah, needs must. Okay. Yeah, look how high they are. Can you see that? The, they ended up being to here where my finger is when they should be below the lip of the pot. Well, shoot. Can I just cut the bottom of the pole off? <laughs> no, am I the only one that has those moments where I'm like, well, I messed that up. How can I fix it in the most half-assed, <laughs> easiest way possible without having to do even more stuff? It's much easier when you have a pole holder. Um, or you have some soil already in the pole to attach the things to the pole. Um, but I wanted them to face the right way, so I thought that this was gonna be the easiest option to make that happen. As it turns out, it is not. All right, so I'm just tucking this one over here because I have to take the other ones off and push them further down, as much as I hate to. Hmm. Yeah, because they're all too high. Why do I do this to myself? Dang it, dang it. Boo, boo Jen, boo. All right, here we are. Start over, basically-ish. Because if the roots aren't covered, that's not doing good things for it, is it? Oh look, I don't have to undo that top Velcro. That's cool. So I had room to slide it down. Yay, okay, that one's good. How about you? Mm 
No, I put you on here so tight that there's no wiggle room. Okay. Um. How about now? Still no? Mm-mm. Okay. You'll go now, though, right? Surely. Oh, yes, surely. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to pin them right back before I put any soil in. I just don't want them going anywhere. You know, if I just had one more hand, I'd be unstoppable. Just unstoppable. See, things are like this are what make me think adult juice. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm a ridiculous human being. Alright, and then this one right here. Here, 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 here. Okay. Decisions, decisions. Okay. Okay, I might have figured out my life with those two, right? Yeah, they'll they'll poke down there. And this third one though is still entirely too high. Entirely. And I zip tied it all in the same little area. Like it might actually slide now. Yes. Alright. So those three are sorted-ish. <laughs> Sorted ish. We'll go with that. I'm gonna put in some soil now to hold everybody in place. Maybe as soon as I find a little scoopy cup thing. There we go. This guy's getting lost. Where do you go? Which way do you go? There. Poke it down into the roots a little bit. What, why are you going? Where, where are you going? Why and where? Where and why? And maybe even how? Depending. Them down. There we go. You stay. Did you go wandering off now? You hear? All right. Nope. <laughs> that is gonna fall. All right, because there's nothing on this side. And I can see my battery's dying. Okay, so we'll get this tucked in here just so it's not gonna fall over. And then I will go change the battery and we'll restrap it to the pole. Yes, yes. And hopefully we'll have success this time. Can't be perfect all the time, right? can't always go the way you planned. And if you're one of those people where things do always go the way you planned, I am so jealous. Please tell me your secret. Share your knowledge with me on how you make that happen. Okay. I think we're in there for the most part. We're in it to win it. Yes. Except for this little guy that's not at all strapped in there. It looks way too low. Because it is. It's only going to get the one little strap anyway, I think. Right there. Okay. Okay. 
Okay. Okay, the chore of finding my batteries took me a very long time, but I found them. I had to move everything to get out of the room. Okay, so plant Velcro. I have two already cut. <clears throat> um, might just tuck this one back just because it's like poking out and wobbly looking. Poke it down in the pot a little bit more. Yeah. I just don't want it sticking out because the more compact this is, uh, the more ideal that would be. Because I have some plants on poles that still take up five feet of space. I'm looking at you, Philodendron Gigantium. <clears throat> But yeah, I don't think we'll ever have that problem with this, but you never know. So either way, we'll just keep it all tucked in. Keep it nice and compact. Oh, I didn't even put one on this guy. We'll put one right there. Since we already have this one cut, we'll use it. Here we go. Okay. I think I'm gonna put one more on that guy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, I had more Velcro already cut. Oops. All right, we're here anyway. We're here anyway. This is all chaos. Jen's channel, all chaos, all the time. I'm gonna put it right here. Okay. This one. I'll pin that guy there. Yeah? Yeah. That looks good to my eye. Okay. Get one in the middle there. Cause she's just floating. We don't want it floating. Golden. Anybody else? No, I think that's what we're gonna work with. No, oh, maybe one more down here, cause that's like flopping. It's a long span with nothing. So we're gonna stick this guy on there. We are. Right, chill. Okay. So that works. Can we see that? Um, I could use a little bit more soil. For sure. And I might have to top it up again after I water it. Because, you know, the soil will work its way down into those crevices. Some will probably slip out the bottom, out of the drainage holes, which it does that over time anyway. But, yeah, I'm just going to top that up, and then I'm going to water it right on through. Find a nice cover pot for it, right? I'll get you a little bit closer so you can actually see um, the mess I've made sticking it to the pole, because I realize I'm kind of backlit. Oh, 
Okay, we're all topped up now. Reasonably, I think. Like I said, I'll probably have to add a little bit more after I water it in. And that's fine. But now let me get you over here so you can actually see what I've done. Okay, you can kind of see better now. So I've just kind of like tried to get it up against the pole, basically. That's it. Because it doesn't really have much in the way of aerial roots, aerial roots now, or adventitious roots. It has some. Um, so the ones I didn't break, you can see one right there that I broke. Uh, hopefully they'll, you know, start doing their thing into this pole. But yeah, you know, it looks funny. I know. It, it'll write itself. It will. It'll get better. But yeah, now I just got to make a whole bunch more poles. <laughs> okay, so this video is taking me forever to make because I tried to make a time lapse. <laughs> Hmm, of them Hoya seeds popping up. Let's see, I planted them on March 11th. And today is March 26th. So I made a time lapse throughout that entire span. I think I started on actually the third or second or third day after I planted them because I started seeing some little tails protruding from the seeds, you know, that would, the what would be a root to go down into the soil. Um, and then not much else happened. It was the most boring time lapse ever. Uh, so, yeah, we're not going to watch that whole thing, <laughs> but, um, they, they are growing. They're just much slower than I anticipated, and I don't know if it's because we've had cooler weather here. Um, it's not been very warm. This room that I'm in is unheated. However, it is on the second story of my house, so, you know, ambient, it stays, um, fairly warm, I guess, even without heat on. But, um, they might have gone faster if I put them on a heat mat. I don't know. I didn't. Um, I just stuck them under some lights. I stuck a tray in there. I've got another tray over here where I was trying to record the time lapse. Either way, it didn't go great. Um, the seeds are doing fine. They're just slow. Um, a 10 day time lapse is uh, a lot. So, <laughs> However, I will go ahead and show you. I see activity in each cup. Do I? Nope. Actually, one cup looks like it might have done nothing. But I'll show you. So here's one, and I only see the one that's popped up in there. And that is Hoya Papashanii. Isn't it cute, little thing? Um, I'm not planning on disturbing the other seeds. They may do something still. They may not. I don't know. Um, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not overly concerned. Um, I had another seed pod recently explode that I did not even notice was there. So. <laughs> Uh, Papa Shani and I are kind of like the Hoya that keeps on giving. Pardon me, I'm itchy. And then this one here, and it's been this way for what seems like forever. Um, it's one of the first ones I noticed a little tail, if you can see it. Maybe you can identify what I'm talking about. Um, but it really hasn't done much since. And I just come up and like mist them to keep them kind of like damp. And, and I am keeping them covered. I'm keeping lids on them. Let me show you the tray because I noticed one had finally popped up in there. So I've just got it in my handy dandy takeout container. Which I can never get open. Okay, and there's like a ton of seeds in this thing. I can't remember. I did count when I planted them, but I can't remember right there, there. I don't know if it's focusing, um, but I don't see anything else popping up. So I don't know. Like I planted these within a couple days of that seed pod, maybe right away. Oh no, I see another one in between some things there in between some bark. I don't know. So I'm going to wet this very heavily and put it back and see if anybody else will do anything. I don't know. I think that's really weird that like of all the seeds that I planted, I really only see two that look like they're trying to do something. Um, some of the perlite is green, so don't let that fool you. There's some green perlite there. That's nothing but perlite. But there is an actual seedling. So that's weird if we only get two seedlings out of all those seeds, isn't it? I don't know. Just 
just wait longer. We'll see, and I'll keep you updated on, you know, how that goes, because, I don't know, I've never grown Hoya seeds before. So, so that was today's video. I think if I go too much further, it'll just be long and rambling, and I could do plant chores forever. Um, I have a lot more to do. I have some repotting to do. I've got to clean out the greenhouse, because as winter has gone on, we've just kind of shoved stuff in there to keep it out of the weather, <laughs> and it's uh, messy. And there's dead plants in there. Um, whatever got abandoned at the end of fall, things that weren't doing well, weren't going to survive, that I had doubles of, whatever, it got left out there. Um, it wasn't over much, but still, things got left. And they died. They all died. I think the only thing still alive out there that got left out there is Spanish moss. So, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, so that's a that's a chore because um, we have well we still we're still having fairly cold nights um, right now during the day. It is about 85 degree, degrees in the greenhouse today, so that's not bad. But at night it still drops to upper 40s. If it's 40s outside, it's 40s in the greenhouse. It's just higher <laughs> um, ambient at night with no heat. It's about three degrees warmer than the outdoor temperature. So we're not really getting freezing temperatures here, but we're, it's still cold. It's still cold at night. Um, I'm hoping that'll pass soon. Either way, I'm putting plants out there as soon as I get it cleaned up, and I will have to put a heater out there. Uh, you know, I'll just have to keep an eye on it, so. But anyway, but yeah, that was it. Um, thank you for coming to hang out, and come back and check me out again soon. Bye.